Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the often mentioned and famous discourse graph extension. And I will give you my own customization of it that I spent like the entire day today working on. Oh. <laughs> and that will make it run perfectly with the permanent note template that you've installed in one of the earlier video. So let's just give ourselves some tasks here to get that little dopamine shot all the time. So we're going to go to Rome JS, just open it in the sidebar for ease of access, create a block, something like discourse graph extension. Doesn't really matter what you call it. <laughs> boom, boom, go here and a copy extension. I paste the extension, click yes, I know what I am doing. Then you will reload the graph. Now let's start to import the file. So first of all, we're going to import the CSS file, import files. Here it is. And that should and this to your uh, CSS page, which is going to give you the green thingies and the red thingies that you might have seen in earlier videos. So now, for example, you should be able to do this. Um, so if I have a claim, I can select the text, hit the reverse slash, that will uh, get you the menu and press C and there's the green formatting that you may recognize from earlier videos. Okay, so let's go to the next step, which is importing the JSON file. So we're going to have to go to this page and here we're going to import files and select the other file, which is this one, import it. This is going to take a while. So with the magic of video editing, here we are. Now we still have to do a little bit of customization. So he, here's the trigger, by the way, that I was talking about where you can fire up the menu for claims and questions and so on. So that would be, uh, that menu. This is the trigger. So we're going to have to still delete some things here. So we don't need, we're going to want to need this grammar. So let's just remove the other grammar. And let's also remove this. We don't need that. And now we should have it worked out. Let's reload the graph to make sure, but it seems to be fine already. So this is what we want. This is all the relations that I have specified that work very smoothly with the extension. Now let's go and check it out. So we're going to create a claim. This course is awesome. Trigger claim. It will be like that. You can click it, uh, template the template that you have installed in one of the earlier videos. It will look like that. And now ladies and gentlemen, what you're going to see is, um, going to be pure magic. So for example, let's say I have a claim that supports this claim, which says that I'm learning a lot in this course. This of course supports the claim that this course is awesome. Make that a claim. Okay. So we have already got one supporting claim and what else do we need? So we're also gonna try and see if we've got the relevant note things working. And of course there's a lot of other things that we're gonna all go over in the next video, but this is just to give you a taste. So of course here, you're gonna, <laughs> Here, you're just gonna, um, do like that. This course is awesome. Index tag, academic mastery with Rome, comma, um, level. And then what we're gonna do and, and then let's just insert one relevant node. So that would be the claim <laughs> I really like to learn 
I don't think that would be a claim I'd enter in my database, but just for illustration purposes. And now what we have is the, mm. this is amazing. So it just automatically configures all the things, but it does it two ways. So this may seem kind of, um, not too special because we've already got the categories, but it does the, one of the cool things is that if you have the extension, you don't always need the categories because as long as you respect the grammar, so claim, so here's the claim child block, which mentions supported by, and then another claim or a piece of evidence, then the, the extension will recognize it. Um, but one thing that makes it really cool is that it also has, um, backlinks. So. If you have uh, claims and you have a lot of references to outliers and so on, the linked references can become quite a, kind of muddy, even with my system. But now here you go. And with the discourse context, you can immediately see that it supports the other claim. And the discourse graph extension allows for a lot of other cool things that we're going to go over in the next video. So I hope you have now installed the extension and, uh, the template and so on, and are uh, ready to go. I know that we ended the, um, previous module with only a partial template. So we ended up with, um, this one, but not to worry. This was just to show you what it looks like, what it will look like. We're going to continue steadily building out our template, not to worry. So I'll see you in the next video.